We look now at tutorial on the change of entropy. In particular, we look at how we can do calculations on entropy change uh, for steam. This is question number six. We are told that a quantity of steam, dryness fraction 0.7 at 5 bar, undergoes constant pressure process heating. And its temperature becomes 250 degrees. We are asked to find the work done, the heat transferred, and the change of entropy per kilogram of the steam. Now, what we have below are two extracts, one from the saturated water and steam tables, from the steam tables, and the second extract is from the superheat steam tables, both focus on 5 bar. The first one, when it is in the saturated water to steam zone, also called the wet zone, and the second one in the superheated zone. So, if we now uh, proceed to doing the solution, we are told that we have to find the work done. Now, the work done is the pressure, since this is a constant pressure process, times the change in volume. Now, the pressure, we are told, is 5 bar, which translates to 5 times 10 to the power of 2 kilojoules per kilogram. Since all the data in the steam tables uh, regard uh, are uh, sort of... Uh, presented in kilojoules per kilogram format. So it will be wise to adopt that. Now, we look at V2. This will be 250 degrees. So if we look at V2, we are in fact uh, focusing on this zone. I have extracted the relevant section of the steam tables on the right. Okay, this is extracted from that uh, in the steam tables. It enables us to see VG. So, we obtained VG for the final state 4744 as V2. Now, when we are in the wet zone, we have to calculate the V1, which we obtain from the saturated uh, water to steam zone. So what we need is to calculate the saturated uh, steam data multiplied by the dryness fraction. So if we select this portion relevant to us, we will see that we can obtain 3749 VG. Okay. We could also have obtained it from the saturated steam line in the superheated tables. So, let's Press on with the solution. Once we have done the computation, we get our answer straight away. Now, Next, we are asked to find the heat transfer, and from the second law of thermodynamics, the, for a constant 
pressure process, the heat transfer, is the work done combined with the internal energy to give you the enthalpy change. Okay, so now we have to find our final enthalpy and our initial enthalpy. Remember, our final enthalpy, enthalpy is in the superheated zone. So let's go back to our 500 uh, sorry, 250 degrees uh, and let's extract the data for clarity. We can see from the data we have extracted that the enthalpy is 2960.7. So we copy that. Now, when we are in the wet zone, remember the enthalpy has to be obtained from a proportion of HF value and HFG value. So if we go to the steam tables now in the wet zone, as we sometimes call it, we extract the data from there, uh, HF and HFG. Let's extract it. You can see we have 640 for HF and 2,108 for HFG. So we include them with the dryness fraction and we get our heat transfer kilojoules per kilogram. Finally, we are required to calculate the change of entropy and the change of entropy, remember the final uh, state of the steam is superheated. If we go to the steam tables, 250 will be able to read directly the entropy is 7.2708. We just copy it down. And in the wet zone, the entropy is consisting of SF and SFG multiplied by the dryness fraction. This can be easily seen from the column for the 5 bar, 1.86, 1.861, and 4.960 or 4.962 as some uh, steam uh, calculations show there are some slight differences. And this gives us the final answer for the change of entropy. Now let's look at a graphical representation of what happens during this process. Okay, if we look at the first diagram, it's a PV diagram. Uh, this is drawn to scale. You will also notice that the axis for the specific volume is logarithmic, as is the axis for pressure. So as you can see, the steam started at 0.7 dryness, constant pressure, horizontal line went to the point 2 which is superheated. If we look at the temperature entropy diagram uh, lower down, we see that originally the steam was at 0.7 dryness fraction. Okay, This is the saturation curve for the steam. So 0.7 is marked by the point 0.1 x equals 0 is the left hand of the saturation curve, x equals 1 is the right hand, and this is the saturation steam. And the steam moves from 1 to 0.2, which is superheated. So it's always good to try to represent, even if not necessarily uh, using a scale drawing, but at least conceptualize the process in the form of a PV diagram 
and a temperature or TS diagram. This ends the solution.